Welcome to Child Care Resources Video Tidbit. This week we will be talking about Hispanic Heritage Month, September 15th through October 15th. A brief history. Each year, Americans observe National Hispanic Heritage Month from September 15th to October 15th by celebrating the histories, cultures, and contributions of American citizens whose ancestors came from Spain, Mexico, the Caribbean, and Central and South America. The observation started in 1968 as Hispanic Heritage Week under President Lyndon Johnson and was expanded by President Ronald Reagan in 1988 to cover a 30-day period starting on September 15th and ending on October 15th. It was enacted into law on August 17, 1988 on the approval of Public Law 100-402. The day of September 15th is significant because it is the anniversary of independence for Latin American countries, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua. In addition, Mexico and Chile celebrate their independence days on September 16th and September 18th, respectively. Also, Dia de la Raza, which is October 12th, falls within the 30-day period. Did you know the Hispanic population of the United States reached 62.1 million in 2020, accounting for 19% of all Americans, making people of Hispanic origin the nation's largest ethnic or racial minority? 12 states had a population of 1 million or more Hispanic residents in 2019. Arizona, California, Colorado, Florida, Georgia, Illinois, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, and Texas. Did you know the states with the highest Hispanic populations are California with 15.57 million, Texas with 11.52 million, Florida with 5.66 million, New York with 3.75 million, Arizona with 2.31 million. There are words we use on a regular basis that we never think to have a Spanish origin. Many words like mosquito or oregano are used in the English language in their original Spanish spelling and pronunciation. And there are some like the following that have been altered. Savvy, saber, to know, tornado, tornar, to churn, tornada, thunderstorm, Bronco, meaning wild or rough. Comrade, camarada, old Spanish for barracks company or roommate. Mustang, mustango or mustenio, a stray animal. States are named after Spanish words as well. Did you know that Montana is a word derived from the Spanish word meaning mountainous? The western portion of the state is dominated by the rugged Rocky Mountains. Other states include Arizona, California, Colorado, Florida, Nevada, and New Mexico. Activities. Ojalata Tin Art. Transform aluminum foil into tin art, or ojalata, a beloved Mex Mexican folk tradition dating back to the 16th century. First, you'll want to cut a five and a half inch square from a clean aluminum foil roasting or pie pan. Round the edges with scissors to prevent sharp corners. Draw a design on a five inch square of paper. Third, layer the paper over the foil. Use painter's masking tape to secure the squares to a piece of felt or fun foam, enough to keep the foil in place. With a pencil, draw over the paper design, pressing hard to emboss the foil underneath. Five, remove the masking tape and felt or fun foam. Flip the foil square over and color its indented spaces with Sharpie or markers. Tip, to display, frame the finished design or punch a hole at the top and add a string. Another activity to try with the children are Taino rock carvings. Taino petroglyphs found in caves and in rivers in Puerto Rico, Cuba, and throughout the Caribbean are some of the oldest in the world. Kids can create their own rock art as they learn about the indigenous culture. 
Knead clay, such as model magic, a little bigger than the size of a golf ball until it's smooth. Press it into a flat disc or use a cookie cutter to punch out a circle shape. Etch designs into clay using round household objects like paper towel rolls and the pointed end of a toothpick. On this page, you'll see a fun, simple recipe to try with the kids, horchata. Horchata cinnamon rice milk has been a favorite of people of all ages. It's slightly sweet and refreshing. This is a much easier recipe than the traditional method, which requires up to three hours to make. This one is just 20 minutes and then it's ready to enjoy. Directions. Step one, heat water, sugar, and cinnamon in a saucepan over medium heat. Simmer until sugar is dissolved, whisking occasionally about five minutes. Allow mixture to cool for 10 minutes. Step two, pour rice milk into a large pitcher. Step three, stir sugar water into rice milk, serve chilled or over ice. The nutrition facts and the full recipe can found in the video in the video description. Here are a few books you can read with the children. Check the video description for a link to the printable version of this tidbit. There you will see a link to all of these books and more. Thank you so much for watching this video on Hispanic Heritage Month presented by Child Care Resources.